hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl amito mitra back again with another video first of all happy 2020 people happy new year i love you so much and i want you to know that i still love you in 2020 like i loved you in 2019 and thank you all for the support for those that we lost may their souls rest in peace and for us who are still alive may we continue living our lives like there is no tomorrow don't forget to live your life don't forget to live your life everybody otherwise i love you so 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 much and i am yet to give you the best in 2020 today the first of january 2020 we start with um one of the breaking um should i call it news no this is something that has been happening on a yearly basis baby cool has always been putting up a list of his best artists of the year like all the other years 2019 baby cool has released a list today um giving us how many are they let me see let me see 28 favorite um artists of his 2019 and he has also included their songs in brackets and i want to give you this just the way baby cool gave it to us i'll not add any salt onto it neither will i add any sugar onto it so guys i want you guys to judge after listening to this so you can uh, tell us whether baby cool messed up somewhere somehow or what baby cool is saying is the truth and nothing but the truth so baby cool went to his facebook uh uh, Facebook page, yeah, it's a page, and said, Baby Cool List, using the moral authority invested in me by the 20 years experience in the music industry, I hereby present to you my best choices for the year 2019. He went on and started naming his number one, number one, John Black. Obobadi do that, blah, 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 blah. Like Fig for Maker did a few years ago, he has made a big entry into uh, the industry with many hit songs, though none qualifies as my song of the year. He will, however, need to work with different producers if he is to break the monotony and predictability of his sound. That is what Baby Cool says about John Black. Number two, he says Shiba. Enyanda, Sweet Sensation, on Kutudeh, blah, blah. She has surprisingly remained cons consistent as the top female artist in the country by releasing many hit singles. He, she still maintains a wide gap at the top among female artists. Number three, Spice Diana, Django Ndabe, and Omosheshe. She has come a long way to emerge among the top female artists this year, and this is mainly because of her well-crafted showbiz antics. She, however, needs to do more hit singles if she is to sit at the same table as Shiba. Number four, Vinka, Shua, by the way. To some extent, she has maintained consistency, by, but I expect more given that she is supported by a strong record label. She could also have been affected by the monthly release of songs, something that doesn't allow enough airplay for each song. My hope is that her new singles... Sorry, her new signing with an international record label will avail her enough resources to push her to the top this year. Number five. Baby Cool, Waya Waya, Uncle Yo, and Easy. I do I undoubtedly remain on top of the pack for yet another twenty something years. My consistency is mainly attributed to the quality of my audios and videos as well as the versatility in my music styles. I believe that my level of popularity would have been much higher if not for my political lineage that splits some of my music fans. I must say though, I have received overwhelming praise for my good music from even those with a divergent political lineage number six cindy boom party copycat the king herself deserves much respect for her revolution from oblivion no oblivion <laughs> <laughs> While most legends have um, failed to protect their seat at the table, she has emerged from the hustle to come back to the top. She will need to maintain whatever she did this year if she is to stay at the top. I personally know that 
know what it takes to remain relevant in this very competitive uh, music industry kudos to Cindy number seven Bebe Cool says a fake for maker tell me Omowati I was surprised sorry I was worried about his consistency because of the monotony in his sound in the previous two years but I'm glad to say that the young man broke the monotony by changing style he has remained on top of his game I know the financial challenges of the direction he has taken many collabs with international artists he will require a lot of resources if he is to release enough songs number eight green Ned official Nkuloga and um, Polida this breakthrough artist impressed me a lot given his emergency from street life he has played a good relevance game that brought him the deserved attention but he needs caution against being careless with his social life number nine palasso Echiro Monzikiza and Wine and Wine. It is unfortunate that this fellow has an unlikable character and it surprised me that his songs gained some level of traction this year. Nevertheless, he deserves credit. Number 10, Kent and Flossy. Isn't he Flossy? Anyway, Muzanyo and Squeeze, A Fit Fear. Their song, Squeeze, competes in the category of Song of the Year. These handsome friends of mine have a likable character but need to be a bit more aggressive. Number 11, Daddy Andre. Sichikukweka, Choyoya, Kuchocha, Don't Stop, blah, blah, blah. This is an absolute absolute talent who triples as a songwriter producer and musician i prefer to talk about him and a songwriter and producer because most of his recognition this year comes from that in this area i cannot talk about him without mentioning his stiff competition from producer ronnie on this one who appears to have equally Bigger songs written and produced by himself, like Nkuloga, Enyanda, Waya Waya, Semye Kozo, Nkulio. I am looking forward to what these two have to offer this year. I imagine Ronnie singing like Daddy Andre does and what it would mean for some of us in the industry. Number 12, Eddie Kenzo, Semye Kozo. My brother had taken quite some time without a brim hit song, but I can authoritatively say he has it now. I don't care if it comes as a sympathy song but it ranked among the top songs as the year ended number 13 Levixon Chiki Bombay he's currently the biggest gospel artist with no competition in the in the gospel industry number 14 B2C Gutuja Fitrema they have merged as the best group and this song ranks among the top three songs of the year they however need to concentrate more on singles number 15 Rachel Ray Guma Bakunige Chigwa Bogana Fitz uh, Nwaji. She's my best female entrant with great attitude, and for now, she's in her own league as a female rapper. She's Zuena's choice, too. Meanwhile, Zuena is, for those who don't know, Zuena is Baby Cool's wife. Number 16, Karo Kasita. Kubayaka Binyuma Moto. She's one of the most aggressive female. Uh, talent to have emerged this year with very good songs that don't need much explanation i wait to see her consistency number 17 fefe busi love your <laughs> warning number 18 ricky man tunyumire he has one song each year that is always a hit he also has a likable character number 19 a big chill party after party gidem Party After Party emerged the biggest song to represent us internationally. It is on every DJ's playlist in Africa. The name of the song, however, overshadowed the song itself and the artist. I am torn between Wire Wire and Party After Party for the Song of the Year Award in Uganda. Kudos to Big Trill. 20. Number 20. Tonics. Sunday, but this song is attributed to Slick Stewart and Roger. I have to conclude that recognition goes to Slick Stewart and Roger. 21, Bini Ganta, No Letting Go, and Fee, um, Lydia Jasmine. He is the most underrated artist yet. He has a great talent. 22, VIP Jemo Sima. It is okay. 23, Fresh Kid. Bambi is an amazing young talent with a lot of potential. If he's given the right direction, I love him and will support him where need be. Number 24, 
Fresh Daddy was the joke of the year. Number 25, Suspect Laser, Ulira Ebala. Wow, I love that song. <laughs> Number 26, Winnie Nwaji, Itayo, alongside Chosen Blood, Amaso, blah, blah, blah. She concentrated on a lot of collabs and troubles, but she remained she remains a good artist. Number 27, King Saha. Hello, hello, warning. <laughs> Number 28, Apus, goody one. But Apus, be serious. So those are the 28 songs of the year for Baby Cool. He continued he continues to say I thank the above artists for working hard I know you deserve more than just recognition and I am working hard to ensure that you get what you deserve for giving Ugandans joy and happiness throughout the year I also thank the media, audio and visual producers, songwriters, DJs, promoters and artist managers and more importantly the fans the above order notwithstanding i remain the biggest artist in uganda happy new year and thank you mr president museveni ladies and gentlemen that is baby cool let's wait for the feedback let's wait for what the artists are going to say because normally they flash back